All right, Hunter. That right there is your dock. I got a good one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Feels like a good one. Kyle Welter is out of Cleveland, Tennessee. Well, we are waiting in line to blast off now. You see the red lights illuminating off of my face. Hunter, what is it going to take for you to be happy with my catch for today? Okay, 14 pounds today would be awesome. That would make me extremely happy. If I get 12, I'll be happy. Um, 10 and you're not even out of it. 12 and you still got a shot to win this thing and make it all American. So anything over 12 pounds and we'll be good. 13, 14, 15, 27, anything like that and we are good. It has, but not much big. No, never mind. That ain't no big. It's a good one. He just ate like a good one. Ooh, I gotta pump that water out. Good God. Probably a carp. Was he on the bank or out in front of that water, that drop off? Yeah, okay. I came in here hoping for one big one, not three little ones. Oh, I went over it. No, I didn't. I should have left that one in there. Feel like a good one. There we go. There we go. 
That's a better one. Yep. Doubt. This is tough. It's five and a half to good. Five. Five of them. I think, I think I got everything bigger than him. Give y'all a short update. I got five for about seven and a half or eight pounds. So we got to call twice and we'll be sitting decent. We need to call three times and we'll be all right. So let's go get it done. I got a good one. Yeah. Out right here in the middle. I'm pretty sure he's a good one. He feels big anyways. Might be a guard. He's fighting like a guard. Don't come on. Look at my girl. Oh, he's right here on the boat. The hell is that? Catfish snagged. Oh, oh. I thought that was the bite I was looking for. Biggin, biggin. <laughs> well, I need him anyway. Hey, I have my jersey on. That was pretty. Is it as tough as I said it was going to be? Oh. Everybody's catching them? Yeah. Not really. Not really. No. I was after my, my fourth and fifth one. What's big I, fish? I don't know. Mine's about the same as yours. That's a good one. I didn't weigh it. Wow. Anderson, South Carolina. South. North Carolina. Show Angler here. Hand the bag for Dwayne. Yeah. 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 Cleveland, Tennessee, fishing on the boater side. Volunteer boater right here, fire for Kyle. 
They're weighing up nine pounds, 10 ounces, 24. So again, man, you're right in the middle of it. Good luck. It's gonna be a shootout tomorrow for the top 12. Check out the clips and colors in the background. So start off by saying the majority of y'all watching this right now are not subscribed. So go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the alerts on. But anyways, we ended today with nine pounds and 10 ounces. I think we're about 28th place and we have to move up to 12th. So we got a little bit of work to do tomorrow. We need about 14 or 15 pounds, 15 pounds and I'll make it almost certainly. 14, I'll have a chance. So we need 14 pounds tomorrow or more. That's pretty tough to do, but I think we can do it. I feel like I under-realized my equity in this one. So basically what that means is, I feel like I had a very, very good strategy, a good plan, some really, really good spots, and I even mixed it up and had some good bites. The problem is, it, not, it didn't come together today. So I got a starting spot where I caught some big ones in practice, and I probably shouldn't have caught except for one of them. But anyways, I caught three out of there, and... Uh, I thought I could go in there and get one, at least three pounds, and probably a couple keepers. So, got in there, caught everything. They were all small. Left out of there, went and skipped a boat dock, caught one almost three pounds, and then I lost a three and a half, and then I lost another big one under a dock. <clears throat> now, I hate talking about lost fish. I'm just saying, things could have went a lot better today than they did. So, I feel like the starting spots I had, the area I was fishing, and the bites I got, I should have had a pretty good day. But it just did not work out. But I feel like... It just didn't come together for me today. So tomorrow, if it all comes together, if I can get some better quality bites early, I think we can drop a big bag on them. So we're trying to drop like 16 or 17 pounds and put us back in contention to win, or 14 or 15 pounds and put us back in contention to making the All-American. So let's go catch at least 14 tomorrow, shooting for 19. Let's go get it. Well, it's the morning of day two now. The goal for today is to improve on yesterday's weight. We had 9.10 yesterday, so if we catch 10 pounds or more, that'll be accomplishing a goal. It's very difficult to catch more on day two than day one in any tournament. So we are attempting to do that today, but I'm still shooting for a big bag. Let's just try to get double digits because it is tough right now. Double digits will go a long way. I will see y'all out there. Little one, got him. Come on, dude. Yep. I got him. Good God. How can one that little even fight that hard? I think he's twitched off.
Billy. Thank you. Kyle Welcher is out of Cleveland, Tennessee. He's on a motor side through the volunteer division. Kyle had 9-10 yesterday. He's got four more bass in his bag today that go four pounds. They even got you right now a 20th spot with 13-10. We are on the way now to go to Lake of the Ozarks. Lake Hartwell ended very poorly. I made a lot of mental mistakes on day two. Had a lot of things go wrong, and I allowed that to get me down. That was terrible. I had a bad strategy going in. That was not a learning experience either. That is the worst part about it. I know people would say, learn from it, move on to the next one. I didn't learn anything. It's lessons I already knew. I've known this for years that you don't do what I did and I still did it. Basically, I made, I had a bad strategy going in. I made bad decisions on the water and I had bad execution. Now, a lot of the fish that I lost, I lost two big ones on the first day. Not really my fault on either one of them. On day two, I lost a two and a half pounder whenever I knew I was using the wrong rod for that thing. Then I break off a two pounder, which I saw my co-angler saw it jump, said it was over two pounds. It's not a big fish, but for Hartwell right now, fishing that tough, a two pounder is a good one. So after those things happened, kind of spun out. I mean, kind of, I was still trying to fish for 13 pounds and you can only catch one fish at a time. And I was trying to catch 13 pounds at a time. That is not the way you get it done. Two or three times we were catching, getting bites regularly and I would leave the place because I felt like I was only gonna catch pound to pound and a halfers. And I couldn't get what I wanted to get with that, but I probably should have just cooled up, called me eight pounds and saved a little bit of face. It wouldn't have helped anything except for I looked a little bit better in the standings. But anyways, big mistakes made in that one. We're going to Lake of the Ozarks now. Hopefully we're gonna dial it in, be able to run around and do my thing and catch some fish. Hit that subscribe button. You're gonna to wanna to check out Lake of the Ozarks, I promise you. I'm going to catch some bigger fish at that one.